10.5 applications of quadratic equations. We're using standard MA912 AR 3.8. We're going to use quadratic equations to solve application problems. So example two automatically starts out with a geometry problem, the dimensions of a picture. It says a picture is six inches taller than it is wide, six inches taller than it is wide. So the height is width plus six and has an area of 216 square inches. The area is 216 as shown below. What are the dimensions of the picture? So they gave you a picture to represent it. Remember, area is length times width or height times width, whichever way you want. We have 216 equals the W plus six times your W, which is the width we had. So we have 216 equals W squared plus six W because I distributed. Subtract the 16 over to so get zero equals W squared plus six W minus 216. In this instance, we need to factor. So we need to find numbers that multiply to 216, negative, that add to six. So when we look at this problem, I can do two plus one is three plus six is nine. So it's a factor of three. So I know that three can go into 216 and it goes into it 72 times. The next thing I wanna break it down further. So 72 is uh, 12 times six. So I'm gonna do three and the six to make 18 and leave 12. These two numbers here, 18 and 12, will also multiply to 216. And they can also get you to six as an answer. So we have zero equals W plus 18, W minus 12. Because remember, one has to be positive and one has to be negative to give you a negative 216. If it comes, if it's positive on the inside, it comes out negative negative comes out positive. So this is which situation. Remember, units of measurement cannot have negative numbers. So negative 18 cannot be the width of our picture frame. So our width is 12. And then the height is going to be width plus six. So 12 plus six is 18. Here are your two dimensions. Okay, example three is an interest problem. It says the amount A after two years in an account earning R percent in decimal form compounded annually is given by and they gave you a formula. A equals P times one plus R raised to the power of two. Where P is the original investment or your principal. Find the interest rate when an investment of $6,000 increases to $6,933.75 over a two year period. So for this problem, we know that the a was the six thousand nine hundred thirty three dollars and seventy five cents the p was our investment that six thousand the time they told you was two years r is what we don't know so we're going to take our formula that they gave you and replace so six nine three three point seventy five equals six thousand times one plus r squared. You're going to divide by 6,000 to both sides. So we have 1 plus r squared equals 6933.75. One point, so we're going to use the entire thing, 1. 1.155625. Then you're going to apply the square root property. So you're going to take the square root of both sides. So you get a plus minus situation. Taking the square root of the answer. So we get 1.075 equals R. 1 plus R. And then subtract 1 over. So remember, it's 1.075 minus a dollar equals R. And 1.075 negative minus a dollar equals r remember it's a plus minus situation the problem is this one right here results in a negative answer so we can't use it this one gives me a rate of 0 0.075 which is 7.5 percent the one i want 
In example six is another geometry problem using Pythagorean theorem. It says an L-shaped sidewalk from the athletic center to the library on a college campus is 200 meters long, as shown below. By cutting diagonally across the grass, students shorten the walking distance to 150 meters. What are the lengths of the two legs of the sidewalk? So the first thing is, from here to here, we have 200 minus the X, because X is what we have here. And they gave you the diagonal is 150. First thing, Pythagorean theorem. Remember, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we already know that this is the long leg. Here's your short leg. Here's the hypotenuse. So this is my A, the B, and the C. So we're gonna plug in. So we're gonna write 200 minus X squared plus X squared equals 150 squared. This is gonna use the expansion rule from previously it becomes 40,000 minus 400 X plus X squared plus another X squared equals our 22,500. 15 squared is 225, zero doubled is your two zeros. We want everything to go to one side. So those combined to become 2x squared minus 400x, and I'm subtracting here. So we get positive 17,500 equals zero. Next thing, since the last digit ends in zero, it's divisible by an even number. You're dividing everything by two to get smaller numbers. We get x squared minus 200x plus 87.50 equal to zero. Now I'm not gonna have you try to factor this out. We're gonna use a quadratic formula. So A is a one, B is a negative 200, C is 87.50. So we have X equals negative of negative 200 plus and minus square root negative 200 squared minus four times one times 8750 all over two times one. We get positive 200 plus and minus the square root of, you're gonna get 40,000 minus four times one, which is negative four, times eight, 8750 gives us negative 35,000, all over two. 200 plus and minus square root, that's 5,000 over two. Okay, 5,000, square root of 5,000. Think of it as the square root of 1,000 times five. Square root of a thousand is actually a hundred, square root of a hundred times the square root of 50. So we get 25 square roots of two for the first one at times another 10. So we have 50 square roots of two as our answer here. So we get 200 plus and minus 50 square roots of two I did not use a decimal, I just left it like this for right now to reduce. So we get 100 plus 25 square roots of 2, 100 minus 25 square roots of 2. They're both going to end up in positive answers. The first one, when you do the calculator math, you're going to get 100 plus 25 square roots of 2 and get 135.36. The second one is 100 minus the 25 square root of two, and we end up with 64.64. Remember, one is the long leg, one is the short leg. This is the long leg, this is the short leg. Example seven, the height of a model rocket. It says a model rocket is projected straight upward from the ground, leveling, or according to the height equation, and they says H equals negative 16 T squared plus 192 T 
or t squared equals to zero, where h is the height in feet and t is the time in seconds. They want us to find after how many seconds is the height 432 feet. Then, after how many seconds does the rocket hit the ground? So first thing, I'm gonna do a rough sketch. So our rocket went up and then came back down and it hit a height of 432 feet. They wanna know the time frame for when it hit its peak and then when it came back down. So we gave, they gave us an equation that says h equals negative 16t squared plus 192t part a. They're looking for the time when it hits 432 feet. So for part A, you're gonna do 432 equals negative 16 T squared plus 192 T. Since I want the 16 to be put on positive, I'm gonna move both items to the left by adding and subtracting. So I get 16 T squared minus 192 T plus 432 equals zero. To work with smaller numbers, divide, factor out the 16. So you don't really lose the 16, it's just in front. So I get t squared minus 12 t, so 192 divided by 16, plus 432 divided by 16 is 27. At this point, we can factor so 27, remember it needs to multiply to be 27 and add to negative 12. So nine and three if both are negative. T minus three, T minus nine. So time equals T equal to three, T equal to nine. So there are two time frames. T equal to three is the upward launch to 432 feet. T equal to nine is the downward fall to 432 feet. The next part is part B. They wanted to find it after it hits the ground. So that means the height when it hits the ground is zero. So you're gonna take the original equation. And make it set equal to zero. At this point, I'm going to factor out a negative 16 with a t, since they both also have a t. So we get 0 equals negative 16 t times t minus 12. When we set each piece equal to 0, this is time equal to 0. This dividing by 6 negative is still 0. And t equal to 12. So here's the situation. T equal to zero is the start before launch. Time equal to T equal to 12 is when it hits the ground. 